On February 2nd, Wang Li Jun, Chongqing's former chief of police, was removed from his post. After rumors of a demotion due to alleged corruption, he was said to be on medical leave, and we have confirmed that on February 7th, he sought asylum at the U.S. consulate in Chengdu. The consulate was surrounded by Chinese police, but the consulate claims that this was peaceful and that they would not get involved in internal domestic matters. Wang was supposedly taken away by the Chinese police when he was denied asylum. So who is Wang Li Jun? Over the past few years, Chongqing became known for its massive crackdown on organized crime. The party secretary, Bo Xilai, brought in Wang Li Jun, a former colleague in Liaoning province, to help him clean up the city. The duo was heralded for a success that brought organized crime networks crumbling. Bo also became very popular for his Chongqing model of development, testing new types of political and economic reform, providing a national model for inland development. Perhaps he is most famous for what has been called the Red Campaign, hearkening back to the glory days of the Communist Party under Mao Zedong. His populist policies and cavalier attitude caught the attention of Beijing, and he was recently exalted by the central government with several high-profile visits from the Politburo Standing Committee. A popular colloquialism in China is Qiang Da Chu To Niao, which is similar to the Western idiom, the tallest blade of grass is the first to get cut. In China, leaders are expected to keep a low profile, and outshining your colleagues often comes at great expense. There were always questions as the 2012 Communist Party transition neared if Bo was too outspoken for a position on the Politburo Standing Committee. But within the last year, at least publicly, this seemed all but assured, until now. The significance of Wang's downfall is its reflection on his boss, Bo Xilai. If Wang is charged on corruption, the very thing that he and Bo stamped out with great success, it casts a dark shadow on Bo's reputation. Some have suggested that this is a power struggle between Bo and Wang, with Wang rumored to have implicated Bo and his family for corruption. However, Wang would have been unlikely to make this move without significant backing from higher level officials, highlighting how this could easily become a national level controversy. The Chinese Communist Party is often engaged in internal factional disputes involving namely the Tuan Pai, Hu Jintao's faction that consists primarily of those in the Communist Youth League, and the Princelings. The Tuan Pai are known for their more populist leanings, and the Princelings, on the other hand, are seen to promote rapid economic development centered on the coast. Bo is a Princeling, the son of Bo Yibo, one of the founders of the Communist Party, but his populist agenda has seemingly given him the ability to balance both sides. It looks like Bo has lost his balance, and this has important implications for a smooth transition later this year.